Well, death threats over wolves are being aimed at Washington Fish and Wildlife workers, forcing the department to cancel 14 open house meetings. Those sessions were supposed to help shape wolf policy after the animals are delisted from the federal endangered species list. Now Fish and Wildlife has to come up with an alternative to get public input. Whitney Ward joins us live in the studio with more on that. Whitney. Good afternoon. Yeah, this is not the first time the agency has received threats over wolves. Just a few years ago, actually, workers got death threats over plans to kill a wolf pack in Ferry County, and now it appears to be happening again. Earlier this month, the last four members of the OPT pack were killed after repeatedly preying on cattle in Ferry County. That decision, though, prompted protests from environmental groups. Now, since 2008, Washington's wolf population has grown an average of 20 28% every single year. So WDFW is trying to get ready for the time when wolves are no longer a protected species. And they say public input is critical for that delisting process. But now they have to cancel these meetings because they say they just can't assure the safety of staff or the public. Now in a press release today, the agency director said they've got information that indicates the meetings could be disrupted, possibly creating an unsafe meeting environment for the public participating. A department spokesperson would not offer any additional details on the nature of the threats, but said the department has met with law enforcement as well as the FBI. Now, the unfortunate thing is this type of threatening rhetoric sometimes comes from both sides of this issue, and it does absolutely no good for anyone. All it does is get in the way of figuring out real solutions. So now, instead of those public open houses, there will be three live webinars, which could actually limit participation from both sides. We'll have more information on those particular webinars and the dates on our website. Just go to krem.com. Mark, Tom. All right,